We'll end with some social media questions for Jim. Ryan Clark on Facebook, how does it feel and how does your day work when you're filming comedians in cars? It's, it's interesting because it's all one day and it's just a couple hours. And um, for me, I mean, I know Jerry now much better, but it was, there's something about comedians that uh, they're, you know, it, you have to articulate the funny in an original way. You can't use your bag of tricks. You know, you can't even uh, be, you know, like you have, uh, you, you audition for something, you can be charming. Is that a tough show to do? It, well, it, it's it's down to authenticity, so you have to be very authentic, and also Jerry has a lot of authority there, so it's guess. he's he's kind of it's it can be intimidating because you have to be funny, and you have to also be deferential. Uh, you don't necessarily have to be deferential, but he's a stranger, but he's also a comedian and a legend, so there's. There's a lot of strange pressure that I put on myself there I that I wanted him. to make him laugh. I know? work with him in the B movie. Yeah. He's very professional. Yeah. David J. on Twitter, is political correctness and cancel culture killing comedy? I don't know if it's, I don't think political correctness. I think that, by the way, there's, uh, I'm against censorship, but there is a form of censorship that exists even at the peak of Jon Stewart's Daily Show, he had a certain censorship that he engaged in, self-inflicted. But the cancel culture, you know, I don't know. And like I said before, I do feel like culturally, I don't know if it's affecting comedy because I think comedians will always kind of push back against rules and authority, but I do feel as though there is this... Um, culture of uh, seeking out purity. It seems almost kind of uh, puritanical. Uh, Doug Pollux on Twitter. Good to have Larry back. Thank you. Jim, do you still enjoy Hot Pockets? I never liked Hot Pockets. I did all this material where I essentially made fun of Hot Pockets and saying that they caused diarrhea. And people somehow interpreted that, that I liked them. That they cause diarrhea? Uh, yeah, no, they, they do. Um, they're <laughs> responsible for nine out of ten cases of diarrhea. But people think that I love them. It's interesting. I talk about bacon, that I love bacon. People don't misinterpret that, that I'm against bacon. I love bacon, too. What, oh, is, yeah. it a, what is it about bacon? I don't know. But it is, uh, there's no taste that compares, no right? Uh, and Jerry McKnight on the Larry King Now blog asks, where can I find information about your stand-up tour and where you're heading? Well, I, uh, you know, I have a, a website, jimgaffigan.com, where I always have tour dates. And then on social media, I will typically post, uh, you know, upcoming dates. And I have a mailing list where I have pre -sales. It's not hard to find out where you are. No. Never miss a beat. Subscribe to Larry King now and watch new episodes every day.